So uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for uh, joining. It looks like we have quite a big group here today, so I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about uh, manure constituent sensing. Uh, my name is Bergen Nelson. I work for John Deere, and my role at John Deere is a solution specialist, as Rick mentioned. And really what that means is I spend a lot of my time out working with John Deere dealers, developing solutions with them and their customers to fit their operations. And I work out of Wisconsin, so spend a fair amount of time with dairy farmers, with manure application, uh, forage harvesters, combines, planters, but really focused on the technology offering that John Deere offers. So I'm excited to talk to you guys about uh, manure constituent sensing that we recently introduced. And uh, really kind of what that is before I dive into the bulk of the presentation is using uh, NAR technology, what we call our Harvest Lab 3000. Um, and that is used or has been used in the past uh, in two different applications, one on a forage harvester and one as a turntable inside of a, in a dairy, for example, where they could put forage samples on it in a glass bowl and spin it around and get uh, nutrient measurements from that so they can complete their ration for the day. So on my PowerPoint here, you can see uh, behind this ADAR tractor, um, they, uh, this little yellow box is the harvest lab mounted on this drag line system. And on the right-hand side is uh, the green uh, harvest lab mounted on a tanker. So you can run this on either a tanker or a drag line. Um, when we're running this system, we are uh, usually using a crone flow meter to, uh, in conjunction with our sensor. And then on the top left here of our, my, my screen is uh, kind of a screenshot of an in-cab display within a John Deere tractor. And this is where you will find a lot of the settings and information that the sensor is reading as you're applying. So this, this system really allows us to confidently apply and document liquid manure uh, nutrients across the field at the right rate, in the right place. And when we are done doing that, we can share that as applied information with those that are helping uh, our farmers and uh, customers make those decisions on farm. Uh, this Harvest Lab 3000 is reading uh, nutrients at more than 4,000 times per second. So we are collecting a lot of data to analyze uh, once we are done applying uh, a field. Uh, with this technology, we can um, apply nutrients on a target rate for one nutrient, and we can also send it out um, or use a limit rate for a second nutrient. So for example, if we wanna put down 12,000 gallons to the acre, we could do that, but then we could also have a limit rate for phosphorus and the tractor will speed up and slow down accordingly to make sure we stay under that limit once we are below that limit, it's going to default back to uh, the target rate that it's, it's targeting. So how accurate uh, is Harvest Lab 3000 um, manure constituent sensing? And this system has been DLG uh, certified, which is a German agriculture society that tests agriculture equipment and really gives an unbiased review of it. And so they have certified us for both uh, the hog manure and cattle manure curve. And these manure curves uh, are loaded onto the Harvest Lab 3000. And when manure is flowing through a drag line or a tanker, we are comparing that NIR result against the curve to basically get our outcome. And I wanna, I guess, explain that the curves that we're running on this system uh, were developed in uh, the US with US manure data, myself and some, oops, scrolling through my slides here, um, were built with some manure from the Midwest, Wisconsin, Illinois, dairy farms, beef, and farms. Uh, range for applying liquid manure or a, a drain. So um, how do we overcome the variability of uh, manure with our system? And I will explain some of the technologies that kind of go into it to, uh, to help with that. So the, the first one is uh, we can run that uh, target value or limit value that I kind of described earlier. So this is a screenshot of a display of within, from within a John Deere tractor. And you can see here that uh, on the top is where we would put in our target rate. So right now we have it selected for volume, gallons, and acre. Um, and below is where we can put in our limit rate. So 
where you're doing uh, volume and then phosphorus. And this is, uh, you can change this up. You can do nitrogen for a target volume and uh, or a gallons an acre for a limit rate. So whatever the operator is kind of shooting for, they can input that information here. Uh, the second piece of technology that kind of helps come over uh, the variability of manure is tractor implement automation. And what I mean by this is if we're running a John Deere tractor, we can speed up and slow down the machine to maintain our rate, whether that's gallons an acre or pounds of nitrogen per acre. And uh, this is only compatible on John Deere tractors. Um, if a customer wanted to run our system on a competitive tractor, so to say, like a Case IH, they will have this uh, information up here, but it'll just kind of tell them to speed up or slow down to maintain that target. Whereas with our machine, we can do that automatically. And this really helps uh, too throughout the day. Uh, as many of you know, applying manure, um, we have pretty short seasons and sometimes terrible weather to deal with. And uh, the, the folks that have been running this in the field uh, absolutely love this feature. And then uh, the last piece here is that site-specific documentation that we get from the Harvest Lab 3000. Um, so this is another screenshot of a display. You can see uh, we have as applied layers here, the application map, dry matter, nitrogen, and column are all the different constituents uh, as well, giving you that, that uh, readout as we're going through the field as that manure is passing through the tube that the harvest lab is looking at. With uh, manure, it's very, it is very variable, um, coming from a slurry pit or a lagoon. And depending on if uh, the custom operator has agitated the pit, you know, those nutrient values can vary coming through the, the pipe, whether that's the tanker or drag line. So this, this technology really is helping the, um, customers and applicators determine what that value of the uh, manure is almost real time so they can get these as applied maps and confidently know that they're putting down you know a flat rate of 120 pounds of nitrogen say that's their their volume or their their goal over here for our target value they can confidently uh, put down 120 pounds across that field or maybe in the past without having you know NIR technology to read that manure as it's coming through you know they're kind of sampling one or two samples in the pit to get an, an idea of maybe a million gallons right so this is really just trying to help the customer better understand the value and nutrient content of its uh, his or her manure so just a few other screenshots here um, to show you how that target limit setup is put in so you can come in and and put in whatever number you want for your target and same thing for this limit setup here. So that's kind of the gist of uh, what it looks like within the display kind of operation of the system. I now kind of want to switch gears and show you what is available in the John Deere Operations Center uh, for as applied maps and just for those that don't know what the John Deere Operations Center is, is a kind of an online program for our producers that John Deere offers uh, for free for them to upload their agronomic information, uh, whether that's planning maps, harvest maps, application, manure application in this instance, and they can see that um, as applied information in many different layers. And our tractors have a what we call JD Link system on there that automatically will send this information if they choose to up to the operations center um, so you can see almost real time from an ipad or a laptop what is going on in the field why they are applying and then you can also come back afterwards and review so this map here is just a general application map from a field um, you can see here we have a legend to show the rate that was applied so 98 percent of this field is applied at 20,000 gallons um, down in the bottom right here give a little snapshot or yeah snippet of agronomic data so your target rate, your total gallons applied, and the area worked is uh, an example of some information you can view. On the next picture here, uh, this is showing the different layers that that particular customer recorded with the Harvest Lab um, in the newer applications. So you can see we've got dry matter as an option to view. 
uh, potassium application map of gallons an acre here, and then our nitrogen map. And within the operation center, we can, you know, compare and contrast different maps side by side. We can overlay maps to get a better idea. We can compare uh, soil maps. There's a lot of different options uh, customers can do. They could look at their nitrogen applied map and overlay their yield map from the year to see how that made a difference on their or impact on their yield. So really a versatile tool for them. This one here is showing uh, our nitrogen map and I uh, want to point out down here that agronomic data, again, they, they can view the total applied or average applied, then their total applied in pounds and the area worked. Now this slide is kind of cool. Um, I really like to show customers and folks this. Uh, it really kind of highlights that automated speed technology. Um, here on the left is our application uh, rate. And you can see on this right-hand side of the field, we're applying around 9,785 gallons. And on the left here, this little orange strip, we are applying uh, closer to 8,200 gallons uh, an acre. <clears throat> and then on the right here, this is where we can compare those maps. We're looking at our nitrogen. And as you can see, it's a pretty flat rate across the whole width of this field, all the way up and down. You know. For the most part, majority of the fuel is applied at 48 pounds uh, an acre. So that's telling me that this manure that was coming through was a little variable in its nitrogen content. And we had a target volume or target in the display set for, say, 50 pounds. And the tractor was speeding up and slowing down accordingly to make sure we had this flat rate of nitrogen across the whole width of the field. They weren't so concerned about maybe the gallons on an acre that they were pumping, um, but more having that flat, constant rate of nitrogen that they can come back and build the rest of their nitrogen plant off of. So just wanted to show that example. And that is all the information I have to share. I would be more than happy to entertain questions at the end of uh, the session here today. And really just want to emphasize um, this technology is really aimed to help our customers gain a better idea of what the nutrient contents are in their manure, uh, then allowing them to confidently, uh, you know, put down that flat rate of nitrogen or flat rate of whatever nutrient that they are targeting so they can come back and complete their plan. So, for example, maybe I applied that 120 pounds of N and the total goal is 250. I now know that I have a nice solid rate of manure across my field and then they can work with their trusted advisors, take those maps from the operation center, go work with their trusted advisors, the co-ops and uh, various nutrient management uh, planners to finish out that plan. So thank you for uh, taking the time to call in today. I am really happy to present on this topic. It is one that is dear to my heart and uh, really enjoy getting to work with uh, the folks in the industry on this. So 